today we're going to be replacing the oil pump in a 93 VW Cabriolet. This car has about one pound, well, one bar of oil pressure at idle and I don't think that's quite enough. So I'm going to take a shot here and replace the oil pump. This car sat for several years and when we did get it started it, to build the oil pressure I eventually had to pull a distributor and put a dowel rod in there. You can do that from the top and spun the oil pump with the drill and got oil pressure and it's been good since but it's just kind of low so we got a new oil pump I'm sure the purists will complain because it's not German but you know what at this point it was available locally in a day so we're going to get it in there and also change the uh, manual transmission fluid seems a little low and the trans is kind of noisy so here we go that's with any job. Let's make sure the parts look right. Looks like a VW oil pan gasket, ones I'm used to. Oil pump looks like a uh, VW oil pump, so I think we're in the right ballpark. And it comes with this little baffle you got to stick on there. So for right now, got some tools out. So the 3 8 ratchet's already under the car. 19 millimeter socket for the drain plug, oil filled wrench, 4 inch drive, 10 millimeters extension if I need it, which I think I will for the uh, drain plug. But for right now, or for um, the oil filter, for right now we're going to get started and drain some oil. I don't know how well you can see this, but anyway, got the oil draining. Fortunately, that oil's not that old, but there's no real way to save it. Let's get on to the transmission, and this is the drain plug right here, and it's a 17 millimeter Hex Texas tool you can't see. That's the tool that goes on a 3 8 ratchet. It's a snap-on tool I've had for years, but there's no, no other way you're going to do it. So we'll bring you back when we got all the fluids out, and we'll start taking the pan off. Just a quick look around. Car's pretty clean for a Pennsylvania car, so hopefully we can get it on the road and get some good miles out of it. All right, so I drained the engine oil, the trans fluid made pretty much a huge mess too. Anyway, I got the plugs back in them. This is the bottom of the oil pan, and I don't have a film crew today, so my lighting's manual. So basically, it's like any other oil pan; it's just got a perimeter of bolts all the way around 10 millimeter head one thing I did forget because it's been like 20 years since I've done one of these the clutch cover has to come off to get some of the oil pan bolts so I'll need a wrench on this bolt right here and there's one up here somewhere so they'll have to be wrenched out but that's our next step Okay, so got the oil pan off, and there is the oil pump. And one thing about this is it has a windage tray kind of thing going on here. It's kind of coming back to me now, but we'll see if we can pop that thing off and get it on the new pump. The new pump looks the same, and it's not that loose. I've already loosened these bolts. Have a, I guess they're M8 with a 13 millimeter head, and they hold the pump to the block. So, we'll get that off there and then we'll have another look around. Okay, so I was able to pry this little windage tray pickup deal off the old pump without breaking off these little tabs. I've broken them off before a long time ago. But anyway, so it's off. Should go on the new pump. The old pump is right there. There's the new pump looks to be right almost in, you know the right part amazingly so the way these pumps are driven there's a um, tang on the end of the shaft and up here inside where the pump is bolted to on the bottom of the block I don't know if you see it I'm gonna get in the light up, up inside this hole right here is the bottom of the distributor driven by this jack shaft up there and that's what drives the oil pump 
So we'll have to get that lined up. There, maybe you can see it when we go back in. And there's the bottom of the engine. I tugged on all the rod bolts. There's, everything seems all right. Of course, there were no weird sounds. Just I didn't like the fact that there was like no oil pressure. One thing about these VW transmissions is the model numbers right here. This little pad on the bottom. And that does not mean it was made in August. That is the code AUG. And I'm assuming the rest of the numbers mean something. I think it may be the model number, but that's where the code is, just a regular five-speed trans. So we'll get the new pump up in there and get it tightened down and get it back together. Okay, we run into our first complication. So this windage tray just snaps on the pump like like so, and these little ears hold it on the stamped pickup flange there. Well, I noticed that like one or two would snap on, so it's not going to be held real secure. Of course, now I say that and get stuck. And so, the old pump, what I noticed is this little flange is a little thicker on the new one. So, either going to try to flatten that flange out where it's stamped together, which I don't think will hurt anything, or I may take a grinder and try to clearance the inside of the uh, inside of this tray. I can probably do that with a little cutting wheel. So I'll let you watch and see how that goes. You know what? I'm happy with that. Things not going anywhere. Clean this up real well and we'll put it in the car. Okay, so I got the pump bolted in the car. Just gonna clean out the pan real quick. I'm gonna I'm not even gonna mess with this gasket. It came off fine, so it's gonna wipe it off and it's going back on just like it is and I'll either take back that other one or save it for another car. Pretty clean, there's a little bit of sludge, but we'll get this wiped out and we'll get it back on the car. Okay, now I got my film crew back. Up here's the new pumps installed, wiped out the pan, wiped the rail off. So now we will lift the pan. This is not a concourse restoration, so we're not gonna like completely detail this pan. There we go. Alright, let me start some bolts by hand. A couple of these bolts are kind of up inside the bell housing and can be a little difficult to get started. Like this one is proven to be. Okay, this little dust cover on I guess is what you'd call it goes here at the transmission on the bell housing and I told you wrong earlier it slides up kind of like that I said those were 10 millimeter bolts and for whatever reason they are 11 millimeter heads on here so there's just two of them and they start right say that this part usually gets hammered up from people jacking them up so it gets bent and stuff like that. Hopefully. Here's one for the purists. I took off a frame oil filter and I'm putting on a German one. So, I 
and say I'm using junk on everything. I'm going to go ahead and pre-fill pre it as much as I can. These anti-drain back ones take forever to do that. So we'll fill it up, put some oil in it, and I'll bring you back.